Hi, Court. My name is Ruben Peralta from Popalecas.net. How are you? Hi, Ruben. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Beautiful. Look, I watched your movie a couple of weeks ago, and I'm still thinking. I wrote about it, and it just became a different movie. And the first question that I have is, how do you got related to the with the book? Did you read the book first, and or someone told you about the story? No, no. I was reading a book review for a different book that referenced Erasure by Percival Everett. And so... Uh, I had never heard of Erasure, and I read the synopsis of it, and just fell in love with it as soon as I as soon as I started reading it. And uh, I was only about fifty or sixty pages in when I decided that I wanted to try to make a movie out of this because the story just resonated with me so deeply. What movie are you from the book? Like what? What the, the whole the whole thing with the all stereotyping? Everything? Yeah, all of it. The professional themes resonated with me, and also the family stuff resonated with me. You know, it just felt like. It felt like so much of what was going on in the book, it were things that had happened in my life. It started to feel almost a little eerie how, how similar uh, Monk's situation was to mine in some ways. And so I just felt drawn to all of it, both sort of like the family stuff, the professional stuff. It just all sort of made sense to me in a way that, uh, that no other piece of art had before. You have been a great writer for TV, and now you have to write for yourself. What's the biggest difference that you have to face when you have to write for yourself and then put it on camera? Uh, the biggest thing that you have to do and the biggest challenge and, and uh, the most terrifying thing is that, you know, when you're writing for TV, you're usually writing with eight to 14 other people. You know, you have, you're bouncing ideas off of all these other great writers and, and great minds and sort of it allows you to uh, have a little bit more confidence in your ideas because you're sitting there and it's sort of been a decision by committee and you've all agreed that this is the best decision and the best way forward when you're writing on your own it's a far more scary proposition because it's like well i think this is good but i don't have eight other people to ask and sort of like if, if they think that this idea is a good idea and so you just kind of have to trust your creative instincts and trust your gut and go forward in that way and so it's a far more scary proposition but um you know the great thing about movies also is that it is it's collaborative it's just collaborative in a different way and so you're not asking other writers, but you are asking producers and actors and costume designers if you think you're making the right decision. But as far as just the the, 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 the creation of the script, that's a real terrifying endeavor to do it by yourself without without the help of a writer's room. And I totally love Monk character because he's just a borderline between being real and being absurd. Yeah. And because the thing that happens to him, you say like, he doesn't even believe in himself. Yeah. And, and those situations, it draw him to make other decisions. And also his family, I feel that his family is kind of a mixture of conscious, that the family is the one who keep them on ground. How was that processing of creating these characters and then casting this amazing uh, casting, Ralph? Yeah, I think the thing that I, so I always knew that I wanted to build it around Jeffrey. Jeffrey was sort of the, the first person that I had in mind when I was done with the script. Uh, we went to him, and when he got when he got aboard, it was really about sort of like building the cast around Jeffrey and around Monk. And so the thing that I knew I wanted to do was that Monk is this prickly guy, right? As you said, he sort of he has this facade mm -hmm. where sort of like he leans into the absurdity sometimes, but most of the time he's this sort of straight man as the craziness goes on around him. And so I knew that sort of he was going to play it kind of subtle and subdued and prickly. And so we needed to have a lot of people around him who were sort of like very effervescent very bubbly, so who sort of like playing it very up and sort of allowed this kind of this kind of more subtle, subdued foil to interact with their craziness. And so, you know, casting Sterling, casting Erica, casting Tracy, mm -hmm. uh, casting um, Myra, casting uh, Leslie, like these are all people who are just far more kind of, their characters are just far more bubbly and effervescent. And I knew that that was going to be sort of the the energy that we needed around Monk, and this perfect energy to Monk to, for Monk to react against, because it was going to be so different from what he was doing. And so, um, you know, some of the some of my favorite scenes in the movie, uh, uh, some of my favorite shots in the movie, aren't even necessarily on people telling the jokes. It's on Jeffrey reacting to what people are saying, right? Like just the things that he can do with his eyes and eyebrows and sort of like mouth. Uh, without saying a word are just as funny as sort of like somebody saying a joke. He's just, you know, he's perfect. He was perfect for the role, and I, I, I knew it from the start. He knew that he was going to be amazing, and he came in and he knocked it out of the park. 
Court, thank you so much. I love your movie and you did outstanding work. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. It's such a pleasure to chat with you. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank you.